I've taught myself not to hold a grudge and not to allow things to get to me and uh, not to allow people to get to me because I understand that we do not fight people. Rule number one, and this is basic kingdom, and we say basic kingdom principle. Okay, I don't care what people do to you, what they say, how they treat you, all that, you know, how evil they may seem to be, they are never, ever your enemy. And you have to remember that. It is going to bless your life for the rest of your life. They will never, ever, ever, ever be your enemy. Okay? They have a spirit that the enemy is playing on. Amen? I was trying to be funny because that was my oh God. But no, don't feel bad. I understand you get frustrated with people. You know, I cannot stand so and so because he's sneaky and he and he a lie. He cheat. He steal. I can't stand him. I'm ready for him to go. When I say I'm bust him up, he better not ever come up on me. Now I tell you, when he comes, he's gonna pop off. It's going down, you know. And you forget, you know, you kill people. You go into jail, then you're probably gonna go to hell. And your emotion, you go fight somebody, you're gonna go to hell because that's just violent. And God sees them. This is what I, the Spirit was teaching me all week long. Every time I said, Lord, I rebuke the enemy. I was thinking about the people. Every time I said, Lord, get them. Convict them. Blah, blah, blah. You know, send the Lord, I hear a dog. Sick of Jesus. Birth. You know. God reminded, <laughs> God reminded me that they're, they're his children too. Have you thought about that? That them crazy people, them too faithful. folks. You need that pacifier. Them two-faced folk are part of God's people. Amen? The same way Jesus died for you, he died for them. The same way Jesus forgave your sins, the way you want him to, he forgave theirs. The same way you have access to him and can pray to him and can get high spiritually off him, so can they. Amen? Amen? Because God says, this is my child and you my child. And I need for you to remember while you're over there being the victim, rolling your eyes and working your neck. You got to remember that that's your family. I'm saying all of this because the enemy does that to you to keep you from loving people the way they need to be loved. And to keep the God in you from shining. The Bible says in Matthew, he said, let your light so shine among men so they can see the glorious light of the gospel. They don't see, this is not the gospel. This ain't the gospel. Walking past people not speaking because you in your feelings is not the gospel. Amen. It is the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. Then you have to ask yourself, who is using me? Because, you know, we're subject to a spirit. And there's only two homes for the spirit. Either, <laughs> either they come from God. That baby is like wrestling and passed out. But uh, <laughs> either they come from God or they come from Satan. Amen. And you have to ask yourself, who is using me right now? Who am I glorifying? Because you know, in all that you do, you're uplifting somebody. Either God or the enemy. So if I walk around here and I'm saying positive things and I'm making good choices and I'm being a delightful lamb, which means I go around smiling and I'm choosing not to be moved by what I see. Amen. Like the song says, deep down I know that God is here with me. And through him I can do anything. You're remembering the worship songs. Not that you want to walk around singing them because it's you know, a lot of us can't sing that good, but that's the, but <laughs> you, what you are doing is keeping that in your spirit. So when you get discouraged, you can say, you know what, what devil? Let me tell you something. The devil don't like me. I don't like him. He tries me, but he don't get too close because he already know I've been whooping his butt for the past 15 years. And I'm going to keep on whooping it because I'm me. And losing is not an option for me. Empty is not an option for me. You are examining yourself. So that God can use you. So that he can teach you. So that he can guide you. Amen? Amen. Because we got too many things holding us back. And one of the things that he said was you got to get away from those people. Watch out for the words that they're saying. And remember that the people are not your enemy. The devil is your enemy. Uh -huh. And he will use the people because those people are allowing the enemy to use them. Amen. The fact yeah. that they allow the enemy. Yes, Shonda. Come on, come on. The fact that they allow the enemy to use them is them. It tells you who they are. Because I'm not letting the devil use me. Amen. So if they allow it to happen, that's on them. And that you know that I need to step away from this person. But also pray for them. 
Be kind to them. Don't hold a grudge. Because then God can't bless you. That's right. That's a blessing blocker. Because God can't bless somebody who acts like the devil. When you hold a grudge, you act like the devil. Mm -hmm. When you mad, you act like the devil. When you trying to pretend you're not mad. Mm -hmm. Like couples who, who won't admit stuff. If it hurt, you got to talk about how it hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You got to deal with it. Otherwise, it's going to come back. And the enemy is in the middle of your relationship. While you on one side and they on the other side, he in the middle having a field day. Yes. Because he know he has divided you. Mm -hmm. You can't give him that space. Same thing in your life. 